Hey, my name is Glenn Bowie, and I'm in a band called Seven Wolf Revisited, and I'm a constant promoter in the area, and also an entrepreneur. And I have this auto detailing shop. I opened it up for rock stars, comedians, and cool people with a lot of talent. And uh, so I have uh, the beautiful Mandy, who's uh, one of the best horse trainers in the Northwest, and she also came down here to help me out. I got Mr. Brock Toronto. Yep, he's a Northwest comedian, funny as can be, on his way to national attention. And, uh, and then I have Ann Gallucci, and she uh, works with me on the reality show called Real Rockin', and she's a concert promoter, band manager, and also an entrepreneur extraordinaire. So we're going to get going today, and uh, we're just going to take you through a little bit of the the daily routines that go on when you're detailing cars. It's uh, it's actually kind of fun in a lot of ways. You meet a lot of cool people and all that good stuff. So, welcome to Real Rockin', and this is uh, episode two. All right, so I'm Glenn Bowie, and uh, anyway, you guys, okay? What up? Brock, I want you to go over, and I want you to work on the contour. All right. so, okay, and Mandy, I want you to take all these cars on the front line one at a time. And uh, I want you to start detailing them today, okay? So we're going to have fun and detail and just have a blast. Okay, so here at Auburn Auto Detail, this is what the cars look like when they come in. Like this Saturn. Uh, wonderful, beautiful. Just uh, come check this piece of shit out. So people don't take care of their cars. They're nasty. They're worse than animals. So we... Uh, we do all this and clean them. So, Mandy's the head detailer here. I don't know, I think we should burn this. What do you think, Mandy? I think it's gonna be shit on the seat. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, anyway, so when we're all done with them, check it out. Follow me. Yeah, they look like this. So we take them from these ugly Saturns and turn them into beautiful Chrysler 300s. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, Mandy, come here. Shit. I had to tell you something. What? You know, I, I, I locked Brock in the fucking, I shut him in the trunk. Oh, fuck. What? You got the time? Oh, shit, he's been in there. Oh, fuck, let's go. Come on. Brock? Brock? Are you okay? Brock? Oh, shit. Hurry, oh, unlock it, man. Oh, fuck. Is it, uh, is it, you hit the button. What, what, are you okay, Brock? Fuck, you guys locked him in there for a long time. Fuck. Okay, you got it? Oh, fuck. Son of a Whoa. bitch. Whoa. Dude, it's okay. Calm down, Brock. Whoa. Fuck. Oh, oh. I got a band for you. <laughs> I don't want to go to my car. <clears throat> ah, shit. Oh, they said they needed the band because Dan Crenshaw bailed. And they don't, now they're not answering their fucking phones. What the fuck are you supposed to do? Brock, hey man, how's it going? I'm doing alright, how are you, man? I'm good, how's your pizza? Pizza's good, I like it. Good. You got good pizza here. Yeah, I've heard. I'm on a diet, alright, have a piece. Diet suck. I should be on when I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, uh... So you're feeling okay about today? You're better? No, I'm still pissed. pissed the cops over to walk me in the stroke. Yeah. yeah, that's bullshit. I think it was kind of an accident, though. No, no, that was on purpose. Well, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was. Ask him, he's right across from me. It was an accident, right, Glenn? Well, I only intended to be there for a couple minutes, and uh, I got sidetracked. So... I'm making it up to him. I bought him a pizza. Okay. Good. Well, yeah, he got sidetracked because he's a poster child for ADD. So. <laughs> aren't, aren't we all? <laughs> well, I, I hired a new detail girl and I had to, I had to see how she performed. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a pretty cool chick. Yeah, so, you know, I, I got sidetracked. Somewhere we, I don't know, we got lost. And um, I'm not sure where we ended up, but when it was all said and done, then I realized I locked him in the trunk. So yeah. I felt really bad about that. Well, like I said, I bought him a pizza. I'm making it up. 
little Still a piece of pie. shit, but I accept the pizza. Hey, um, what is it that we say? Forgive, what? but never forget. Forgive, but never forget. Yeah. I don't, I'm not good at either. It's not... <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. So now we're here at Louis G's. Uh, there's a band that I book and all that good stuff. And they're getting ready to play, and so I guess we better go over there because I don't know. Is there anybody over there? Is there any audience? There's a bit of an audience, yeah. Okay. Is there a CD release? Yes. Yeah, it's their yeah. CD release. It's chaos and confusion. Starting to fill in. Okay, so, well, let's go check out the chaos. Yeah, I think we should cause some chaos. All right, sounds all good right. to me. Okay, so we're at Louis G's and with Brock, and uh, this is Brock's reality show today. We were at the car lot earlier, and uh, so now we're here, and this is, uh, we're here with Chaos and Confusion, which is a band I book all over the place, and uh, Brock was trying to get up there to do some comedy, but uh, something happened, and so he can't, and so we ran into something interesting here, her name is Naomi, she's an ex of uh, one of the band members, so tell me, what's it like being an ex? Oh, well, it's interesting. Uh, huh? I sit at home and it's like, come to my show, come to my show. I'm like, hi. It's in like it's Tacoma. Camera, like, anyway, that's like, I live in Seattle. Camera. Camera. Hi. Say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> no. so, okay. I'm like, I don't go are to Are you like a Tacoma. groupie? Or are you no. a groupie? Are you no. <laughs> no. I'm only, I'm only here to support Todd because, you know, we love him. And even though he's my ex, he's like family. And, uh, my daughter is here, she's 15, and his daughter is 16, so we brought them here, and they're doing teenager stuff, they're, you know, playing on their phone instead of watching the show. Um, Do you have anything bad to say? Todd, Who loved to hear a bad uh, thing? Todd. What's bad about Todd? Anything okay. I can joke about during my set. How about anything good? Do you have anything good to say? He snores really loud, you know? Oh, there you go. When we lived together, I was like, dude, you gotta, he had his own room, and I, he had to sleep in his own bed. I was like, that's, I that's can't, pretty, he snores loud. No, no wonder you guys aren't together anymore. <laughs> um, what else? So he made him sleep in his own room? Oh, he likes to drive fast cars, but that's okay. Um, and he has an annoying little puppy who's really cute, Bella. What, what kind of puppy is it? He has a chihuahua, so I just got a German Shepherd. My dog's gonna be really big. Yeah, yeah. His dog's really small. All right, well, all right. So there we have it. An uh, interview uh, with uh, an ex girlfriend, uh, not a groupie of uh, uh, Chaos no, and Confusion. Not a groupie, no. no. All right. <laughs> We're best friends, me and Todd. Cool. All right, there you go. No benefits at this time. Maybe later. <laughs> you got anything you want to ask her, Brock? Uh, no. You want to go out on a date with her? You want to ask her out on a date? Single? Uh, no. Uh, well, we'll keep trying. We're going to hook you uh, up. All right. Goodbye.